Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we will be reviewing this here, Palm Olive Ultra Soft Touch. And this is the Aloe Citrus Scent. Booby, let's talk about it in the comment section below this here video. It's time to go ahead on and get our suds therapy going. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already and like this here video. And this is your first time tuning into the channel. Welcome. I'm DMV Donnie D. And to all of my returning subscribers, supporters, and viewers, Booby, y'all already know I love me some you. Dollar Tree didn't have my favorite sponge in stock. It's all good. I'm going to substitute it with this here Brillo sponge. Ah, booby. I think life is about to be easier for me with this here glass scrubber. I'll let y'all know how it's working out in updated um, review videos. Look at here. We are stepping up our dishwashing game around here for sure. Look at that endless and endless suds action. I have a question for you, Booby. Are you on Team Palmolive or Team Dawn? Or are you just on Team Clean? If you on Team Clean, that means that you are on any team of dishwashing liquids that just get the dishwashing job done, Booby. Talk about the cake on baked on. This silverware definitely need to hit the bottom of this here dish pan first. Good God. <laughs> I mix maybe two tablespoons of this here palm olive dish liquid with hot water. And I have a dish pan filled with endless clouds of dish soap suds. This here palm olive dish liquid has a very light scent. And to me, a very light scented dish liquid, I call those a barely there scent. And I know you're saying, Diva, Booby, what is a barely there scent? A barely there scent to me is like a dish liquid where so if I'm like starting off my dish water, and I add in my dish liquid, I should be able to smell the scent of the dish liquid right away. I should not have to pretty much like um, sniff around the bottle to get a whiff of what the scent smells like or like pretty much searching for a scent. It's like barely there. And it's okay because Guess what? The cleaning action of this here palm olive makes up for the scent. I guess they couldn't give us both. <laughs> All in one bottle, you get the scent. And the cleaning action is not going to happen. However, I do know and I do recall some of you guys stated that you need like a dish detergent that has like, that's lightly scented or unscented. To me, booby, this the palm olive would definitely be your friend in the scent department and as you all can see so far the cleaning action and the sud action boop, is undeniably the truth but far as scent goes to me if i was to go and purchase this here particular um dish liquid um in the store i wouldn't recall the scent however I would remember the cleaning action. I definitely would remember the cleaning action, but the scent, as far as the scent goes, I would not remember the scent of this here um, dish liquid. But let's go on record and appreciate that aqua blue color booby. I'm loving the colors, giving off like summer vibes. However, the scent wise, it's all good. I definitely would purchase this again. But as far as remembering the scent, no, I definitely wouldn't remember that. Talk about the cake dawn, baked dawn. Let's go ahead and add these dishes 
to this here palm olive. Let's check out the cook, cook God. Let's check out this here palm olive cleaning action. Okay, let me slow down here. <laughs> Boobie, I'm so excited with this here sud action. I try to pack in just about each and every small like salsa and bowl that contain caked on, baked on food particles that I could fit in this here dish pan. I'm like, booby, y'all definitely need some pre-cleaning action. And I started off with the glass bowl, effortless cleaning. I'm trying to go to the least to the greatest as far as the cake on, baked on. And y'all hear that bowl singing. Y'all hear it singing, but I wonder why, oh, my dishes are chipped. This is exactly why. <laughs> my dishes are getting chipped up. Good God. And see, at this point, I'm just pretty much washing the dishes with suds. Look at that. Oh, and Lord knows I can't stand. Look, I'm wasting suds. Booby, mm -mm. no, I want to keep every suds in the pan. I think it's about time for me to upgrade the sink around here or the dish pan. Y'all, let's talk about it in the comment section. Look, good God. Look at the sud action, booby. Endless endless sud action i'm just using suds at this point to clean off the dishes let's talk about it and i'm wasting suds let me be quiet for a second so i can put a few dishes back into flotation See, I'm be wondering why the bowl is chipped. Y'all caught that. Y'all seen me drop that bowl in this sink. <laughs> Let's keep this thing moving right a lot. Look, booby, get back in the pan, booby. No, we wasting suds. But look at that. The sud action is awesome. We have definitely a few, I'll say at least six dishes going back into flotation. And this is what I mean about firm um, dish suds, soap suds. Look how firm those soap suds are. And I had a dish pan full of dishes. And the soap suds are still here for the situation. This is what we're here for, boo. This is what we love. Booby, can y'all also help me congratulate by far one of my loyal true boobies who did his homework assignment last video and he answered the homework assignment correctly by prop booby what's up with that thank you so much for being a loyal booby here on the channel also don't forget to drop the link um in the comment section on the community tab so I can buy you some lunch, booby. And thanks once again for always coming through, showing your love and support for the channel. That's what's up. And you already know Diva love her from you. More dishes to put back into flotation. Next, we're gonna move on to some plates here. And I definitely have silverware at the bottom of the dish pan. It's been soaking for a while. It should definitely be ready to rock and roll. And going back into flotation, y'all already know. Booby, I'll be ready to throw out some silverware if it doesn't clean up properly, but that's all right. Sometimes it's a struggle cleaning up the silverware but look at this here plate effortless cleaning you're definitely going back into flotation but yeah sometimes we run into the struggles with cleaning off silverware that's why I like to put those pieces into the pan first let's talk about it in the comment section how y'all feel about the silverware and also when you do um, I know a lot of you guys use your dishwasher 
So how does it work with silverware? Do you go ahead and soak your silverware first before you put it into the dishwasher or you just go ahead and add it to the dishwasher? I know with me hand washing dishes and sometimes silverware can be a struggle. And I definitely like to um, let my silverware soak a while. So let's talk about it in the comment section. Do you have to soak your silverware before you add it to a dishwashing cycle? Or you just go ahead and, on and wash it in the dishwasher. Let's talk about it in the comment section below this here video. This plate here is definitely going back into flotation. I think I was just getting excited with the cleaning action and I almost got caught up in this situation. <laughs> but yeah, our plate is definitely going back into flotation, booty. Oh my goodness, booty. I almost forgot to go into details with this here scrub buddy glass cleaner. Booby, let me tell you something, guys. I feel like I have really stepped my dishwashing game up on 5,000. Y'all can't tell me I have not arrived. And it's going to take some getting used to, but I like it. So far, so good. I like it. But as you guys can see, old habits can be hard to break because I definitely picked up that dishcloth and went over this here glass, but... Yes, I'm loving the scrub buddy um, glass cleaner situation. And that's another Dollar Tree product. And y'all talk to me in the comment section below this here video. And let me know, do you all use a glass cleaner? Because I definitely will be um, using this here glass cleaner. Lord Diva, put the dishcloth down. I can't. It's hard. <laughs> I definitely will be using that glass cleaner more often. So yeah, talk to me about the glass cleaner in the comment section below this here video. This here is a non-stick pot and it should be effortless cleaning. However, I'm going to allow the pot to soak a few minutes just to allow the cake on, baked on, cook got food particles to soften up because I do not want the food particles to scratch up my non-stick cook surface inside the pot. However, this here spoon booby is a whole different situation. This here spoon that I use to stir up the macaroni that I cooked in this pot is a different ball game talk about the cake on baked on I mean, this spoon we definitely gonna have it out in this here sink today
see the nerve of that spoon, booby. Glory be to God. But yeah, the spoon made it back into flotation. <laughs> ah, that was definitely a struggle. But like I said, this pie effortless cleaning. And y'all, let's talk about it in the comment section below this here video. I'm about to get ready to jump down. That spoon almost took Diva up out of here. But I flowed through that situation. And we put that spoon back in flotation. I should just, for the, for the sake of, just get rid of that spoon. But I might need that spoon. So, uh-uh. We're going to keep it in flotation for another use. So, yeah. This pot is effortless cleaning. I'm just going around it. I think it's soothing and calming my nerves down, y'all. Washing out this product just keep me calm, keep me centered. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, this pot definitely going back into flotation. So y'all, please, y'all put some prayer hands in the chat for that spoon. Hopefully you guys will see it again. <laughs> I think it's safe to go on record and say this here palm olive ultra soft touch booby is nothing but the truth with the cleaning action and check out did y'all check out the sud action that is left over in the pan this is my last pan here that i'm gonna put back into flotation and as you all can see the dish water it's not even murky it doesn't feel murky and it doesn't even look murky and the water is pretty much it's like pretty clean so to all of my palm olive fans i know i have a lot of people here on the channel that loves palm olive booby y'all palm olive showed up and showed out i'm getting ready to jump down from here so y'all let's talk about it in the comment section below this here video so until next video to next live stream and like I showed y'all and I'm gonna show y'all one more time before I jump down we done stepped out dishwashing game up and five thousand around here with this here situation buoy so God bless <laughs>